Hey there, innovators, and welcome out to Tuesday. Well, partly cloudy, somewhat detached, I think. The moon has moved into Libra, which is a good thing if you're an air sign, because air signs don't really like to be bogged down too much by the physical feelings of emotion. And when the moon moves into an air sign, all the air signs kind of rejoice a bit, because it kind of throws emotion up into the speculative thinking, which was what air is all about. So it allows you really to detach from the heaviness of emotion. We've just had it all right in Virgo, pretty heavy. So now what it'll allow you to do is kind of be speculative. And this is really the arena of this month's light casting. In fact, tomorrow the sun and moon will conjunct. That'll be light cast day. That's when they come together and give us like a big bang of gravity. It's the new moon, technically. And what it allows us to do is really kind of put some gravity or real will behind our wishes. Now for you, Aquarius, this is really kind of fine-tuned by the ninth house, the house of belief structure and philosophy. So Aquarius is kind of our navigating right now. This is a map reading time for you to kind of figure out what you want out of your life, what you expect life to be, because really Aquarius is live up to their idealism. They really do, and they stand behind it. So by choosing your philosophy, you kind of are choosing your light casting and overall direction if you're an Aquarius or a Sagittarius most of the time. So that said, really today, take advantage of Neptune ruling the day and kind of plug into the Soul Collective and ask your higher self what you expect from the next year. Now, keep in mind, you may have to make some interesting connections to people in order to get what you want because Venus and Saturn in the house of intimacy and boundaries is saying that as you step forward in the next, next year and the next two years, you're going to be rewriting how you get close to people, who you get close to, the rules of closeness. All this intimacy will be looked at. Also, how maybe you approach death and the loss of some other soul. If you have not, have not really faced that, this may be a time where you are facing that. Or if you haven't mourned someone that has passed on, you'll find you're somewhat haunted during this time. The universe is trying to get you to reanalyze all of your boundaries. And I think they will be tied to your wishes in the future. So you might keep them hand in hand as you analyze today in preparation for tomorrow. All right, Aqua, enjoy your spaced outness. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Until then, live, love, be.